Okay, well, as you can see, we're back at it with the Toyota 22 RE. And uh, I wanted to just post kind of a little adjunct video with regard to this uh, guy, specifically to the idle air control, also known as the auxiliary air control valve, which is what you see on the bottom here. Um, if you look at my other videos, and, and we're talking about the part on the bottom with the two little hose uh, uh, parts there coming out. So if you look at my other video, it's pretty popular on YouTube, and it and it discusses this and kind of the trials and tribulations of you know figuring out is it working or not. So I got my motor all back together and I had it running, and I started to encounter a symptom which I think was related to this. Let me explain kind of what it was. So if you look look back through some of the other videos, I had to change the thermostat right in there from a 190 to a 170 I think it was in order to kind of uh, work in conjunction with my electric fan deal so normally the 22RE is kind of designed to run around 190 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and that lets all the different things function correctly and the computer knows okay we've got the right temperature and we're up to speed uh, so one of the problems that I sort of ran into was that uh, this little guy, I had kind of adjusted it to do its thing uh, around one, I guess around 190 or so. So I got a few questions also about this. And, and the basic uh, gist of it is, well, if you take this cover off back here, there's the kind of little air the heat controlled or heat activated on and off air channel thing. Um, and the way that works is when this is cold, there's a little valve in here and a, and a air passageway that's open. And then as hot water runs, circulates from here and then out, the heat causes a pin to push a cone up into a round little kind of uh, orifice and it shuts that that area off and what that does is if you see that kind of that big hole down there uh, not that little guy up there but that big one down there on your left that's the uh, channel that this valve controls and that lets air pass through the back and the computer on the car uh, kind of is expecting uh, extra air to be coming in there uh, because it's turning on this cold start injector for a while. So when the car is cold or when the, the motor is cold, uh, the computer says, well, let's add some extra gas, you know, like a choke to get the motor up to temperature and get it running when it's cold. And because it's adding extra gas, it, it, it wants this valve to also be introducing extra air until the motor gets up to temperature. So then you have an issue here where if you take this all apart and and start messing with this little uh, adjusting ring in here, you, you, <clears throat> you can kind of run into a situation where you don't know kind of how to adjust the, the, the timing and temperature when that uh, valve shuts the, the airflow off. So I ran into that same situation. I had taken this off and cleaned it and tested it and stuff. And I kind of set it so that when the water temperature was up around 190, 200 degrees, this, this valve would, would shut down. But at, at the time I was setting it, it, I really didn't understand exactly what I was doing and I set the thing wrong. So I noticed when I was running the motor, and now keep in mind, if you have not messed with this, then you've got factory settings and, and you're probably okay. So this only applies to people in the audience who have started taking things apart and started monkeying around with the, the little adjusting ring down in there. So if you've done that and then you've gotten out of whack and you don't know like how to adjust it. So here's what you got to do. I, I ran into a situation where I had it adjusted wrong and I think it was never fully closing. And so the result was that I was kind of getting too much air depending on whether the car was fluctuating in temperature. And I think that was causing my idle to fluctuate around. Now, once I put this all back together and run it, then you know, we'll know for sure. But at the moment, I, I, wanted, I took this upstairs. And so the way I 
adjust it was I ran that little ring in uh, clockwise all the way and I started running water through from the sink, hot water and cold water. And I was watching what that little cone did. And I noticed there's kind of a little mechanism on the cone where you can kind of see where the pin keeps going up, but the cone makes contact and stops. And I had never seen that before, but if you look very closely, and I apologize for not you know, having the cover off, but again, this really only applies to people who are getting in there and, and fiddling around so you'll take that little cover with the four screws off and you'll see what I mean. What I ended up doing was I started playing around with the water temperature and the upshot of it was this. I wanted this to kind of shut the airflow down around 130 degrees. So I felt like that's you know pretty much where okay at that temperature I'm off to the races and I don't need any more you know airflow so shut it down at that point. The way I adjusted that was I ran that cone in all the way clockwise and then I backed it off three and a half turns. And that seemed to equate with the, the airflow shutting down around 130 degrees. So I just wanted to pass that along. You can see also kind of something interesting is I'm, I'm opening this up and working on the uh, little arm for the, the uh, airflow meter. And I'm gonna probably go in there and kind of do some fine tuning adjustments. Uh, and the reason for that is because when you start making adjustments to the motor, and uh, I'm gonna be putting a new cylinder head and cam on this, uh, you can kind of throw off the airflow characteristics that the ECU is expecting. And so then what you what you kind of have to do is you you open this up and you kind of compensate for it with that little wheel in there and you can kind of trick out the computer so you know get it back on the road as far as figuring out uh, how to get the air fuel ratio uh, correct again so anyways main point is this uh, turn that little uh, ring in all the way back it out uh, three and a half turns roughly and that should shut the uh, the uh, idle air control uh, valve system down at about 130 temperature, 130 degrees from what I have been uh, seeing. So hopefully that'll kind of get you in the ballpark. And then, um, like I say, the, the best way to test this is to just take it upstairs. If you can run hot water through it, uh, use a, one of those laser thermometers on, on the housing down here, and that'll kind of help you dial this in. So, okay. For anyone who was, uh, curious on how things are going with the truck, or how to adjust this. I hope this video has been helpful. As always, feel free to use the comment section below. Thanks for watching.